Solar cells, also called photovoltaic cells, perform amazing magic, turning sunlight into electricity with no moving parts. These cells can be grouped together in solar panels, also called solar modules or photovoltaic modules, and these groups of solar cells can be combined in large arrays to provide even more power. Let's look at some of the history of solar cells. People have long dreamed of developing photovoltaics for practical purposes. In the 1800s, crude solar cells were developed that did indeed convert sunlight into electricity, but they weren't powerful enough to do much work. In 1954, scientists at Bell Labs discovered the silicon solar cell, the first solar cell to produce enough electricity for useful purposes. Despite great expectations for the Bell invention, the silicon solar cell initially powered only playthings. The space race, however, opened an unexpected and large demand for solar cells. From milliwatts of electricity for the little Vanguard satellite launched in 1958 to kilowatts for the International Space Station, solar cells have powered almost every satellite, proving indispensable for the military, for world communications and entertainment, and for scientific exploration. Without solar power, much of our use of space would never have happened. With solar cells successful in space, people started looking for more applications on Earth. The first major customer was the oil industry, which had both the need and the money. The U.S. Coast Guard had an ideal use for solar cells, powering its many buoys and lighthouses. Today, solar electricity runs 99% of all aids to navigation used by the Coast Guard. U.S. Signal Corps saw the value of photovoltaics long before any other organization. The Corps used solar panels to power the first solar-powered transcontinental radio broadcasts. Improving microwave repeaters, John Odes used solar power in 1974 to bring long-distance telephone service where rugged terrain made normal cables impossible. Within 10 years, solar became the energy source of choice for remote telecommunication networks, and it remains so today. Powering railroad signals and switches from the closest utility lines often cost tens of thousands of dollars. Solar cells can do the same job for far less, so many railroads use them instead. Sometimes, even when the utility lines stand only a few feet away, solar panels are more cost-effective than digging up pavement or sidewalks to install cables for emergency call boxes, flashing warning lights, illuminated bus shelters, or other devices requiring power. All those mobile road signs that warn you about speed limits or temporary road conditions have changed from diesel to solar power thanks to the development of light-emitting diodes, a lighting technology requiring very little power. Ultralight solar panels can also be used when exploring remote applications and set up in minutes to provide electricity for vital needs. Millions of people live without access to electricity. Unlike utility power that requires years for the generating plant and distribution lines to be built, solar electric panels can be transported by animal or vehicle and be up and running in a matter of hours. This can bring people high quality lighting for the first time, often greatly improving student grades. Solar panels bring many benefits to those who have lived without electricity. In 1976, the French introduced the first working photovoltaic water pump. Since then, tens of thousands of such pumps have provided people with safe, clean water for themselves and their livestock. In areas served by the electrical grid, placing solar cells where the electricity is needed improves economics, reducing environmental impacts, and can provide backup power during blackouts. Schools, farms, businesses, parks, people connected to the utility grid are all installing solar cells and enjoying the benefits. As of 2020, millions of solar rooftops have been installed on grid-connected homes. In California, newly constructed homes now require rooftop solar. Solar farms, large fields of solar cells, are being planted around the world to harvest large amounts of sun-made energy. This electricity typically goes directly into the grid and is distributed to nearby communities. Student engineers are learning about solar electric design through boat design competitions in California. Teams learn to optimize their designs to best power the boats during sprint and endurance events. Traditionally, solar cells are common on many boats, providing power for auxiliary equipment. Less common are boats covered with solar cells to provide propulsion, like the Solar Sailor Ferry in Australia, and the planet Solar Catamaran, the first solar electric vehicle to circumnavigate the globe. Single-passenger solar-powered cars have proven it's possible to power a vehicle with the sun. 
Many have competed in solar car races that traverse whole continents. Some commercial car makers are beginning to integrate solar cells into the body of the car to help extend its range. Although solar powered charging stations for electric cars may be the most practical solution. And perhaps most impressive is the solar airplane, Solar Impulse, carrying one pilot that completed an around the world voyage in 2016 powered only by sunshine. Designers are now working to integrate solar cells into small, battery electric powered airplanes. The sun provides more energy in one hour than humans use in a whole year. The magic of solar cells is allowing us to harness more of this energy in creative ways. As we move forward, our challenges include sharing this technology with everyone, developing new battery energy storage options, and adjusting our behavior to best use the sun's energy when it's available. To learn more about the power of sunshine and the magic of solar cells, visit solarschoolhouse.org.